Mom, we're here. Mom? You never know what she's up to. Mom! Are you early? Happy birthday, Billy! Oh, we're gonna make this the best, <laughs> best, <laughs> best birthday ever, 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 ever. Does she always twirl around like this? We're right on time, actually. Oh, who pays attention to time? That's for boars, and we're not boars. No, no we're not. not. No, no, we're, we're not. not. No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. Those two. You're going to make him sick, Anne. <sighs> Lovely to see you too, Margaret. Oh, Annie, I love you. I'm so all here. And that looks amazing. Billy, look. Oh, Billy's special chair. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, I'm so happy you finally made it out here, Margaret. Oh, well, Billy wanted to come. Are you sure that chair is comfortable? It looks awfully scratchy. Well, she hasn't changed. What are you taking? Just uh, humor her. She's still grieving. Let's make today special for Billy. Oh, how rude of me. Oh. Oh, Margaret, I'm so sorry. I, I, I forgot to ask how you're coping. What do you mean? Oh, with Alfred dying. Passing. I'm just fine, Anne. He left me very well taken care of. And I have my David and my Billy. Well, it's not up to them to look after you now. Well, of course not. But they keep me in high spirits. Give me a reason to get out of bed in the morning. I see. Well, men have limited use anyway. And as far as Alfred... Anne! Except for you, Billy. You're gonna grow up to be a wonderful, useful man. There, I acknowledged it. I heard. Antidepressant? What for? I'm just... I think you're deeply unhappy in your life. I'm not. I'm just stressed. From playing mom and housewife? Honey, you used to be full of dreams and, and ambition. What happened? Why aren't you working on a new play? Well, Billy and David need me. That's an excuse. You're, you're not fulfilling your, your destiny. I don't know you like this. I don't know me like this. I didn't burn my bras to raise oh, a, a doormat. You didn't raise me at all. You just let me run wild. They made it a full five minutes. Independent play is crucial to a child's development. That is just a lame excuse for a lack of parenting. Hey, remember, it's Billy's birthday? You're right. Billy, come, let's go play. I was just about to give him his present. Patience. Hmm? I could do with a cup of coffee. Well, let me get you some, dear. Oh, you won't be able to find anything. Coffee coming up. I wonder if I should buy a cow. Then I don't have to mow the grass anymore. And fresh milk is good. What do you think, Billy? Grand Anne, where do the baby cows come from? I don't see why we had to travel all this way to celebrate Billy's birthday. I'm not sure this is suitable reading for a five-year-old. At home, I could have booked Darwis the Clown. You're not listening, David. You want to book Darwis the Clown? I'm not sure Billy likes him. 
Billy loves Darwitz. It's Annie who doesn't like him. She objects to his artistic aesthetics. In, out, in, out, in, out. In, out, in, out, in, out. Gran, do cows like to have sex with each other? Have sex. Do cows like to have sex with each other? Of course they like it. What's not to like? Mommy doesn't like it. Nonsense. Daddy says so. To you? No, to Mommy. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, look at the pigs now. This place is a pigsty. No wonder Annie doesn't know a thing about housekeeping. This is her example. I mean, what does Annie do all day? Pushes dust around her house. And look at poor Billy. Hair like a girl. What's going to become of him? Oh, you could have done so much better for yourself, Davy. What's she doing? Is your mom off her meds? Is yours? I'm not joking. Who says I am? She's vicious. She's grieving. Give her a break. <laughs> she couldn't stand your dad. She made his life a misery. Yeah, that's below the belt. He asked for euthanasia. Don't talk about my mother like that. Oh, but it's okay for your mother to talk about your wife like that. What do you mean? I could hear you. Oh. What's going on? I'm unhappy. I feel... This is entirely inappropriate. There is nothing wrong with a young boy understanding where the bacon comes from. But they are fornicating exactly how bacon is made. David, say something. Ben, he's only five. Don't you think it's inappropriate? Perhaps in your family, but not in mine. You Wolseys on the boat. Just... Mom. Oh, well done, Annie. I'm glad you're in agreement that a child should be saved from this. Well, I just... Come along, Billy. Let's go get ready for your party. Oh, my goodness, you're filthy. But don't worry, we have some lovely new birthday clothes for you. Wonderful, sweet pea. I knew I could count on you. Yes, you can always count on Annie. You mad about the sex ed thing? Sex ed? Two pigs going at it doggy style? How else are they going to do it? They can't lie down. Look, Mom, you said you wanted to organize a party for Billy. Well, look at this mess. Kids don't care about mess. They don't even see it. Kids do care about mess, and they do see it, and their friends see it, and then their friends' mothers see it, and the entire town talks about it, and the kid loses their friends. Who's going to see it? It's just us. You didn't invite anyone? Billy said he just wanted to be with his family. No one else. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. and grandparents. Look what Grandma brought. Let's make it a real birthday haircut. Oh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> OK. OK. No. You look like a girl with all that hair. The other boys will tease you. Mommy says I... Oh, well, Mommy says a lot of things, but she's going to like this. Oh, Billy will love this. <laughs> Are you 
you sure Mommy will like it? Of course she'll like it. You look just like your daddy. Margaret, the word, please. Oh, that won't be necessary. Let's just have fun. I'm sorry, Mommy. I still have it. Don't be silly, Billy. It's not your fault. Your Grandma Wolseley had no right to cut your hair. Oh, but you must admit, it looks so much better. It's traumatic for a boy to look like a girl. You're not suggesting I'm traumatizing my child, Margaret. Well, since you want to know, I think there is much room for improvement on the mothering front. If it weren't for David and me, I don't know. I just worry about Billy. You! Annie! The candles are burning down. Well spotted, Anne. Let's give Billy his big present, David. David? It was time for a haircut, Annie. Now he looks like a real Wolseley. No, he doesn't. I beg to differ. He isn't a Wolseley. Danny. He's as much a Wolsey as he is a Blackstone. Maybe more so. I have very strong genes. He isn't a Wolseley. Danny. Your son shoots blanks. Danny! Danny, what? He refused to get it tested, but obviously I'm not infertile and we don't use contraception. Ha! If only we needed it. Yeah, even when we had sex, we didn't use it. Tell me no. It's okay about my hair. It'll grow back, Grandma. I'm not a grandma. 